In the 70s, first of all, my, my first occupation was uh, I was a singer. So I was in the entertainment industry. And I continued being in the entertainment industries all throughout the 70s. Um, so it was interesting because, because of that occupation, uh, and I continued to sing and entertain, um, I had a, a different um, observation type of um, uh, uh, look upon the racism in Vancouver. Uh, when you're a part of a band in, in entertainment and you're up on stage, uh, you're not exactly part of um, everyday living. Uh, you're kind of special. And so uh, in the 70s, I was able to observe racism uh, on that level. To be honest with you, um, there's a particular story that uh, I did not find out about until I was quite a bit older that I was about three years old uh, when my, my dad, my mom, and my older brother and sister, uh, we moved to our Burnaby home. Well, I found out years later that when we moved into the home, uh, the neighbors had gotten together and wrote a note and used the N-word and told uh, my dad that he had better get out of the neighborhood and use the N-word. Uh, my dad uh, never told us about that uh, until many years later, until we were actually grown. Uh, and I could see why, because uh, uh, he, he was the kind of man that uh, he, he didn't like confrontation. Um, he, would, he, he was probably, I'm thinking about it now, he was probably scared out of his mind, but he knew what he had to do. And what he had to do is, is he had to win over our neighbors. And so that's where my mother joined the PTAs and uh, the school, the boards or whatever that, that parents got involved with and parent teacher associations and stuff to let everybody know that uh, we were normal. All the neighbors got together with a big party and they all wept. They all cried that they didn't want to see us leave. So you see that juxtaposition where, where we first moved in, in and that is what racism is. Racism is fear. Fear of the unknown, fear of that other person.